everybody, Lord Tremendous here, got another battle report here for you. 2,000 point battle, battle report number 201. Lord Tremendous of the Undead Legion versus Leaf on the Wind of the Wood Elves. Uh, we are using Legion rules and stuff like that, but this individual wants to play a full Wood Elf army, which is perfectly legal as far as I know. So uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and get to see how this little mini battle goes. Assemble the army! Here's my list, and if you watch Battle Report 199, you'll see uh, pretty much the same list because it's part of a local game store tournament that we're in. And uh, yeah, that's also why we're at 500 points less than we're used to playing. So here you go. I have my Tomb King, Lord Tremendous. He's got a shield, Sword of Manta Heroes, uh, Armor of Destiny, Dragon Mage Gem, and the other Trickster Shard. And then, of course, I have my Master Necromancer, Queen Elizabeth, who's a level 4 wizard with the Scepter of Stability and the Lore of Vampires. My hero choices are my Necromancer, Dark Vincent, with a level 2 wizard, uh, who is a level 2 wizard, with a Dispel Scroll and the Lauren Undeath, and a Necrotech Sinister Jeffrey with the Dragon Helm. My core choices are 13 Skeleton Archers, the Queen's Guard, with full command and light armor, 3 Chariots, Rollin' Bones, with Banner Musician and the Banner of Eternal Flame, and another unit of 3 Chariots, uh, the Thunder, with Banner Musician. My special choices are a Chimerian War Sphinx. Kitty! with Fiery Roar, 38 Tomb Guard, because I'm giving them a try with Hand Weapon and Shield, and my rare choices, of course, is my Casket of Souls. My opponent's list is as follows. He has a Spell Weaver, who's a level 4 wizard, who's on a Elven Steed, he's got a Dispel Scroll, Obsidian Lodestone, and is using the Lore of Death. Uh, his core choices, uh, that, yeah, I'm not making a mistake there, that he had one character. Uh, his core choices are two units of Glade Guard with Musician and Hagbane Tips, uh, two units of Glade Riders with Hagbane Tips, his special choices were a unit of Seven Sisters of the Thorn with a Banner and the Banner of Discipline, what was it, three units of Deepwood Scouts with Hagbane Tips, and then his rare choices were two unit of nine uh, Way Watchers totally naked and two Great Eagles. Yeah, it's an avoidance list. Uh-huh. Here are my spells, which are exactly what you're looking at. And here are his spells, which are also exactly what you're looking at. Uh, the two extra ones are obviously for the Sister of the Thorns. Here's deployment, and I tried to castle up. Uh, maybe not the best thing in the world to do. I, I'm still got to learn against gun lines and avoidance lists. I don't play them all that often, and when I do, I, I, I do stupid things. So yeah, my deployment, I had my core in the middle there. Uh, just hoping that maybe he would get close. He didn't. He just encircled me. And I was worried about his scouts, but uh, I guess they're ambushers, so my bad. And then, uh, yeah, my chariots are just trying to block my casket because the hope with no BSB and just a little, you know, uh, spellbinder is I can six dice the casket and start blowing units up from a distance. That was the hope. That's what I was going for, and that's why I deployed like this. Here's my opponent's right flank, which consists of a whole bunch of Wood Elf stuff. I honestly don't know what unit is what. I know that's the Sisters of the Thorn in the middle there with uh, his Spellweaver installed. There's a little Grave Eagle behind him, and I don't know the difference between Way Watchers and Deepwood Scouts. I'm sorry, I don't. They all look the same to me. And here's his left flank, which consists of the rest of his army. Uh, the two brown units there in, on the left there in the middle are in the back there. It, they are ambushers. They are not on the table. Uh, that's why they're facing towards his board edge. Here's my right flank, which consists of my chariots and my casket. And here's my center, which consists of my Tomb Guard with Necrotech and Tomb King installed, my archers with my casters installed, my kitty, and my chariots. And here are my scouts, or I'm sorry, his scouts on my left, uh, left flank, which I assume they're the Deepwood Scouts. Here's top of one after movement, and you're looking at it. Uh, I, I don't get to go first, and he doesn't really need to move. He moves around a little bit, but not much. Also, if you're wondering about the weird deployment, uh, it was, oh, what's it called? There was a weird, like, angled deployment. We rolled uh, a random dice right out of books, and it was that diagonal deployment. So, yeah, with the exception of the scouts that are all the way over on my side, he's just, yeah, it, it really favored him. It really did. Uh, but, yeah, he gets to go first, and he really doesn't move at all. There's no reason. He's what else? He's an avoidance list, and all he did was brought poison. So, yay. 
Needless to say, my chariots units on my left flank get completely wiped out by his shooting. And the real upset over here is he kills the kitty, like, without any difficulty whatsoever. In fact, uh, it was only two wounds with poison. The other shots, the other hits that he got, I mean, they're elves, they're going to hit a lot. But even with toughness eight, he rolled like seven or eight sixes. It was ridiculous. I, of course, immediately fail all my armor and uh, regen saves, and the kitty dies. Top of one, because life is fair. The irony of that is, though, on the right flank against the other chariots, he was only able to wound once. Yeah, because I, I don't know. I guess they forgot to take the cork off the tips or something. So, <laughs> Oh, sweet irony. The only two units that were in any position, even remotely in any position to do anything, and they get obliterated. But the one that's not a threat at all is clearly just there for defense. He has no problem uh, not wounding because, hey, you know what? The guy's just a, a better person than me, apparently, and the uh, gods have have sided with him I don't know so we go over here to bottom of one and I move up a little bit but I mean let's face it I'm undead yeah I know I can march now but there's really no point these guys are gonna dance around me all game if I'm lucky uh, so I started moving towards them because why what else do I got to do uh, the tomb guard move up the archers move up and I'm just kind of hoping I'm hoping that I can roll average uh, and I can't I roll uh, like a four for my magic phase, which he has no problem dispelling. So we go into shooting and my archers are able to do a little bit of damage. Uh, I think I killed two or three of the scouts. Uh, it's not enough to, well, I mean, yeah, he takes a panic, but they couldn't care less because he's rolling low when he needs to. And he was rolling high when he needs to because life, she's a bitch. So we go over here to top of two after movement, and his ambushers come in. Uh, just the one unit comes down there in the middle, in between the archers and the casket and stuff like that, because, like, a moron. Uh, I left a gap there big enough for him to get his ambushers in, because, you know, I'm a moron. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to have fun going after the casket. Other than that, nothing of his really moves. I mean, there might be a little bit of in insignificant movement, but it's nothing really even worth talking about. Obviously, they're just going to try to shoot me off the table. During the magic phase, he gets that curse of and fear or whatever off on him. Basically, if I move for any reason, everything takes a dangerous terrain test. So my tomb guard aren't moving. It's not that I didn't try to stop it. It's just that I couldn't stop it because life. Then the skies open up and all the arrows fall down. A chariot dies. Uh, my casket takes a wound. A bunch of archers die. And I think six tomb guard die. So yay! So we go over here to bottom of two after movement, and there's really not any. My chariots do a swift reform and pass it to go after the ambushers that are threatening my casket, which is really the only threat I have against him currently. Tomb guard can't move. Archers don't want to move without the tomb guard, so we stay right where we're at. I'm screwed. Nothing happens in a magic phase again. Again! I try to throw, like, I, I get, like, five dice. It's it's embarrassing how bad I'm rolling. But, uh, you know what? I'm also getting the crap kicked out of me, too. So maybe it has to do with my morale. But <laughs> I try to five dice the casket, and I think I roll four ones and a three. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of game I'm going to have. So, needless to say, he dispels it laughingly, and we go into shooting. I kill two more scouts. They pass their panic check, and that's it. And then over here, my chariots are able to plug a couple of these ambushers. Uh, they passed their panic check as well, because why wouldn't they? FML. Uh, with all that said, then we go over here to top of three after movement. And there's a little bit of movement. As you can see, the little skirmishy guys on the right side, they come down and come after the chariots a little bit, because I guess they weren't close enough. And the other unit of ambushers come on, because they really want to see my casket dead, because they're, I guess, afraid that eventually my dice will roll average when I try to use the stupid thing. Other than that, the rest of his army is just kind of giggling at me, and who can blame them? During his magic phase, once again, he gets that curse of Anfear off on my tomb guard. And I think this time I just let it go because I've kind of accepted my fate. And then over here, even though I'm toughness 10, poison doesn't give a rat's ass. And I explode. And not only do I explode, but I don't hurt anything because life, she's a bitch. So yeah, casket dies with a whimper, not a roar. Uh, rest of the shooting phase, his chariot, or he shoots at my chariots and kills off another one. For some reason, my right flank chariots are just all about taking these arrow shots. Maybe it's because they're not taking as many. I don't know. 
And then over here, uh, all but two archers die, and a handful of my tomb guard. I think like three tomb guard die, because, you know, they're toughness four. Yay! So here's bottom of three after movement, and yeah, um, my one unit, my one chariot re remains, can see the farthest unit of ambushers and charges them, because why not? They do stand and shoot, but he flubs, I guess they were panicked, and he makes it, which is really, really nice. Uh, my tomb guard don't go anywhere, because I don't want to take a whole bunch of dangerous terrain checks, and my archers accept the fact that they're dead. I mean, dead dead, not just, you know, current status. During the magic phase, I just throw all caution to the wind, and I six dice winds of death, which does minimal to no damage because the gods hate me. Uh, I plink a few, a couple of the uh, skirmishers off in front of that unit there, and I think I get one Sisters of the Thorn. It's laughing embarrassing how badly this game is going for me and I don't fully understand it um, like I said there are gods out there and they fucking hate me I don't know what to tell you but it is what it is uh, unfortunately since the only way I can cast spells is either not cast them or miscast them it was an irresistible force miscast 5 Needless to say, every single mother effing character that was, or model that was hit, died from that mother effing miscast. I did not fail to wound once. So there goes 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 Tomb Guard. Just effing fantastic. Like, they weren't dropping fast enough. Thanks, gods. Thanks. Then over here, uh, the chariots actually do well. They, uh, the chariot, the chariot <laughs> does well. He weathers their attacks because they're elves. They always strike first because, you know, elves don't have enough advantage. You know what? And uh, real quick sidebar, I... Games like this are what make me so incredibly happy that uh, the end times things are happening to the elves. Not not any elf in particular, just all the elves. They're dying. The Tomb Guard, you know, the, I'm undead. We we thrive off this. Knowing that the elves are dying make games makes games like this palatable. You know, <laughs> it's like okay, I can accept it because eventually, eventually, they're all going to be part of my army anyway. So it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, uh, going back to the game, my chariot obliterates that unit of uh, ambushers. Of course, the other unit of ambushers passes their panic check. Why? Or no, I'm sorry. They do not. They take a panic check and they flee. They don't flee very far. They go through the impassable terrain. They don't fail any dangerous terrain checks. But they're panicking, which actually kind of sucks a little bit because I would have preferred to be able to shoot at them or charge them. But, you know, the fact that I am not going to get goose egged in this game should be enough to make me happy. It's not, but it should be. <laughs> so, we go over here to top of four. And his unit rallies uh, and the rest of them. I think he moves up a little bit just because I think he likes the looks of the jaws of death wrapping around my quickly diminishing army. There's a better picture of his ambushers rallying. And God, I'm glad they rallied. Uh, during his magic phase, he gets Soul Blight off on my Tomb Guard, and the Curse of Anfer or whatever keeps going. But uh, when he gets Soul Blight off, it's a miscast four. I'm sorry, not uh, Soul Blight, but uh, that Curse of Anfer or whatever. Uh, it's a miscast four, which is actually really, really good. In fact, it's the best thing that's happened for me all game. <laughs> Uh, after all said and done, the sisters have four models on a table, and his level four general, only character in the entire army, gets pulled into the wharf. Apparently, Zinch wanted his due. Uh, screwing me over for the entire game apparently comes at a cost. So at least Zinch still kind of remembers me, you know, like a, a rash or something. <laughs> I don't know. But the greatest part about this is that my opponent has done more damage to his army than I have. <laughs> so... You gotta respect the guy for that. Uh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, at the end of the magic phase, since his miscast kind of ruins his any his chance to dispel the winds of undeath, uh, a little bit of luck. The template goes through this unit of uh, whatever they are, uh, 
play guard, maybe? I don't know. It, whatever these stupid elves are, they get hit by the template and two more die because I'm rolling like poop. But what can you do? I'm happy that two more elves are dead. Then we go into the shooting phase, and they shoot with a vengeance. The archers die, the remaining chariot dies, and oh my god, a lot of tomb guard die. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tomb guard die. Why? Because math. So yeah, yeah, they, they are all dead, and that's outstanding. So we go over here to bottom of four after movement, and I've accepted my fate. There's nothing I'm going to do. I can't move. I've got the curse on. Well, I've got soul blight on me. The curse is... Uh, no, the curse was on me too. The card just got picked up. But I can't move. I can't shoot. Can't do anything. I've got my casters in the unit of tomb guard now. They bailed out when the, uh, oh, what's it called? When the archers looked like they were going to get evaporated. Uh, so I've got my four characters and my tomb guard left on the table. And they're all sitting there just with targets on their forehead because I'm screwed. During the magic phase, I do uh, gaze and a gash at these little skirmisher bastards uh, irresistibly because, like I said, that's the only way I can get a spell off. And I'm able to kill all but four in that particular unit, which immediately passes its panda check with snake eyes because FML. I, in turn, miscast seven. No! You must not read from the book! Which puts wound on my necrotech and kills another tomb guard because... I can't do anything right this game. <laughs> I don't even know. So we go over here to the top of five, and again, the, the elves are giggling. The ambushers run behind me, I guess, to cut off my retreat. I don't know. And everything else is just happy to be exactly where it's at. There's really no reason to move. Magic is skipped because his magic phase is dead, but his shooting phase might as well be a fucking magic phase, and boom! Another, what is that, four, eight, nine tomb guard die, which means the rest of the tomb guard die, my caster takes a wound, and my tomb king takes a wound, which is phenomenal. I've got four characters left, and they're all in the unit so that you can't single them out, because it just seems fairer that way, I guess. I don't know. So we go over here to bottom of five. I don't move. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Just let the pain end. In the magic phase, I get Curse of Years off, mostly out of spite. I think it kills two of these guys. Not enough for a panic check to matter. Uh, nothing else happens, so... We go to the top of six after movement. And, yeah, there's, there's really none. I think is. Yeah, I think I think he just kind of wants to shoot because that's really what this army does. It shoots. So that's that's what he does. He he gets he he shoots. And after the smoke clears, only the tomb king is left with one wound left. Yeah, Necrotech, both casters kaput. I mean, just pin cushioned, and there was nothing I could do. So we go to bottom of six, and I tried to charge and failed, and, and <laughs> I didn't do anything. I stood there. There's no magic. There's no shooting. I got a Tomb King begging for death, and that's it. I wasn't tabled. I wasn't tabled, but that's that's it. That's the end of the game. So yeah, <laughs> I got nothing. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? I need a beer really, really bad. So you guys look at this picture, watch some ads. There is some good thing. There's a new thing, uh, you know, with, with, with my channel for the rest of the month of April. So yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just this game's over. Thank God. <laughs> Hey guys, you know these tokens, you've seen them a hundred times, and you know what? Every time you see them, if you haven't bought them yet, you're just wasting time. Get these tokens. All of the lords of whatever spell you're casting, all the wound counters, you see me use them in every single game, and you've never heard me since I've been using the counters going, I can't remember how many wounds I had, or what spell was on this guy, or whatever, and they're flawless. They're awesome. Uh, you're the envy of everyone you play against. Send token gal an email. Get these tokens. They're dirt cheap, but they're solid gold quality, guys. I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong. A lot of people have already ordered them, and nobody's returned any. Nobody's even asked to return any. All they do is they order more. Get yours. Get them soon. You're wasting time, and these are totally worth it. Tell her Tremendous sent you. Hey 
hey guys, I got another great deal for you. Movement trays. We all use them. We all need them. If you're watching this report, you have some or you need some. And do I have the vendor for you? This guy makes solid metal movement trays. I mean, cuts them to your specifications using a galvanized metal. It's not that cheap, thin, weak aluminum. This stuff is sturdy. I'm using them. I use them all throughout this game. Take a look at the pictures. They're all in there. I love these trays. They're metal, so they auto magnetize. You know, well, provided you put magnets on your guys. And he does them dirt cheap, guys. I'm telling you. He's got an eBay page. There's an email on here. Get a hold of this guy. Get yourself some movement trays and get yourself organized. You're going to be thrilled. You can pay them. You can do everything. These things are awesome. My local game store guy is literally in contact with this guy so that he can become a vendor. That's how high quality these things are. So I'm telling you guys, give this guy an email. Check out his eBay page. Get yourself some movement trays and stop playing like a Neanderthal. Tell him Tremendous sent you. You won't regret it. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if you were paying attention or not, but we got a few new pictures. So not only does Unleashed Wargaming paint amazing models uh, for, for commission and stuff like that, send him an email. He does excellent work, as you've seen from the pictures. Not only does he do all the different magic lore cards for Warhammer Fantasy, I mean every lore. You want Storms of Magic? send him an email you want lore of fire send him an email you want every lore that's ever been out in eighth edition send him an email these things are solid they're laminated they're on cardstock they're photoshop made they're amazing and they're good they're well priced guys i'm telling you and now he's also doing 40k cards the psychic stuff or whatever i don't play 40k but if you do there's nothing wrong with that but there is something wrong with it if you don't get these cards and if you don't have your models painted by them just throwing it out there just you know you may if you feel guilty that's because you know you're wrong but send this guy an email get your models looking good get the cards that you need get your real game going and tell him tremendous sent you you're not going to regret it <laughs> That's right. You knew this was coming eventually. In conjunction with Unleashed Wargaming and Lone Hammer, we have opened an online store with hats, shirts, and I think that's it for right now. Uh, maybe dice and stuff like that later on, as well as other gear. Maybe, you know, dice cups, whatever. We'll think of something. But uh, we're, we're doing a trial thing. Uh, for the next month, month and a half or so, we're going to have this online store. The website is here. It'll be in the description of the, you know, the page and everything like that. But but yeah, if you want a t-shirt, if you want a hat, if you, you know, want to wear paraphernalia, by all means, head over to this store, check it out, get yourself some Lord Tremendous gear, God knows I have. <laughs> And, and and yeah, this is your chance. If you like Lone Hammer, if you like Unleashed Wargaming, if you like Lord Tremendous, you can get this stuff. And if you don't like us, you can get it and you can set it on fire and send it to us as a threat. It's awesome. But yeah, go to the website. It'll be here. It's on this you know channel, obviously, or on the description. And uh, get yourself some gear. We're going to try it out for a month and see how it goes. And if it keeps up, then we'll keep adding to it. And if not, well, we'll pretend like we never did it. But yeah, yeah, guys, uh, by all means. And if there's anything you want to see on the store or anything like that uh throw it in the comments section and if we like it we'll make it happen so yep 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 in the end it was a butt whooping for lord tremendous i got 520 points out of him most of which were his uh sorcerer dying and he got 1724 out of me because my toon king was a little pricey uh, there was a difference of 1,204 points between us, which really kicked me right in the pride. In the end, though, I ended up losing everything but my Tomb King. He ended up losing his Spellweaver of his own volition and a unit of Glade Guard. Ooh, not a good showing. Not a good showing. I don't do well against gun lines. I had every intention of going after him. Unfortunately for me, it just didn't happen. I moved forward, and then that curse got off numerous times, and I was afraid to take 
the dangerous terrain checks. And in the end, it was probably the smart thing, but uh, it wasn't the fun thing. It hurt. <laughs> I think I am a little bit intimidated by gun lines too, so I need more practice with them, definitely. But I didn't really know what I was going to do against these guys. They're faster than me. They're a lot more agile. He did not need to see me in combat unless he absolutely wanted me to be. And his first round of shooting, obliterating two of my units, like, wholesale, that hurt me more than anything that I can even begin to describe. I had no idea what to do at that point. I had nowhere to go. Just broke my heart, and that really, really sucked. Uh, but it was nice of my opponent to kill his general off for me. I really thought that was, you know, gentlemanly of him. Uh, but yeah, yeah, um, I've never, I didn't think he was gonna roll to wound as well as he did against me. Um, killing the kitty, not with poison, but with actual wounds, blew my mind. Uh, taking out the unit of chariots wholesale like that blew my mind. Just the amount of killing like what was it 11 14 tomb guard in one volley blew my it was unbelievable unbelievable i've never seen shooting that good before but uh definitely can see the potency of what else so yeah but if i had gotten a hold of them if only i could have gotten a hold of them but yeah just it was a sometimes you got to take that hard l and today was my turn today was my turn and i'm not happy about it but, you know what, I still enjoyed the game. We still laughed a lot, mostly at my expense, but we had fun. He's still a damn good opponent. And I'm glad I got to fight this type of list because I don't run into it very often, and so I need practice against it, obviously. But uh, I, I, I did enjoy the game. I did find enjoyment in the game, believe it or not. It just... It was a different type of enjoyment. It was a learning experience. It was like, okay, I have noticed now that I have a serious weakness against this type of list. I need to figure that out. I need to face it more. I need to fight it more. I need to, you know, play it so that I understand that I don't just friggin' stand there and eat the arrows. <laughs> but what can you do? What can you do? Maybe next time I play this guy, and I will play him again, but maybe next time he'll, uh, oh, what's it called? He'll, uh, 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 uh roll average and I'll be able to survive longer <laughs> I don't even know but I did kill some of the elves so I feel pretty good about that one and I'm looking forward to the rematch but yeah guys that's going to do it for this battle report number 201 uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it it was a little painful but hey you know what a little pain's good for the soul right uh, as always if you have any questions comments concerns or complaints feel free to put them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can but yeah guys thanks